Well, prior to Alexa Grasso breaking through against Valentina Shevchenko, no one had fought her as closely as this Brazilian talent, Tyla Santos. A lot of fans felt like at UFC 275 back in Singapore that she should have been the athlete to emerge with the split decision win. Of course, that is neither here nor there. She's an outstanding striker, undeniable knockout power at 125 pounds. Can lean on her grappling if need be. Tonight, though, she is focused on striking, leg kicks, jab. She believes her power will be heard from before fights end. So here she is, two division UFC champion Amanda Nunes, and ice water in her veins doesn't even begin to describe it. There's just something about Amanda Nunes on fight night, whether she's staring across at Ronda Rousey or Chris Cyborg, it doesn't seem to matter. She puts the focus on her, and skill for skill, she might be the best in the world. And it comes from that, right, John? Because what intimidates you when you stood across from the biggest stars the sport has to offer? She goes out there with an idea of how she's going to approach the fight, regardless of the opponent. And in most cases, she has approached these fights with one thing on her mind, and that's brutality. And you watch that in her finishes. She demolished Ronda Rousey. She busted up Misha Tate and then knocked out Chris Cyborg. Amanda Nunes is a savage. We always talk about MMA being the fastest growing sport in the world. Women's MMA might be the fastest growing sport in the world, and no one has been a bigger beneficiary, of course, than one Amanda Nunes. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> The challenger, Hala Sato. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda the Lion. Herb Dean, third Little party fight. in the octagon ready. tonight. All right, we are ready to go here at the start of round one for this stand-up only event. So grapplers need not apply. We outlined the rules off the top, but here's your refresher. No grappling of any type. We also point out fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the ground. Let's see if the combatants play by the rules here as our first round gets underway. Oh, Nunez jabs. Leg kick. Well, the pleasant way to put it is that the fighters are respecting each other, feeling each other out, and managing risk, but really not much in terms of action thus far. No, they got to get going. I understand that when people are fresh, they're very scary, but you cannot be just cautious. the kick that one checked by Santos great punch landed with so much power two minutes have gone by beautiful 
beautiful shot lands to the leg. there to block those shots when you first go to a boxing class the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face her guards high tonight her guards high and she keeps the elbow down she does a great job of blocking the top and down low what a strike by her there i'd be knocked out her opponent still stands she's still standing but she's got to get on her bike john she's got to get out to the center of the octagon find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finishing her Total strikes have already landed for Amanda Nunes. Circling to her right. Try to establish that jab. Oh, man, she landed a shot to the leg. Well, she has really shored some things up defensively here as she blocks another set of shots there. She said it was going to be a focus, get better defensively, and tonight she's showing that the work has been done. Lands with the lead right. Santos is now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. This is big. That's big. What a fight so far. Heading back to the corner after that round. Santos got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. All right, that round is in the books. Let us show you the replays, including some of the strikes that led to what is a pretty significant cut on her forehead. A pretty significant cut. She was on the wrong end of a lot of damage. She has got to move her head. But hats off to the opponent, knowing exactly what she needed to do, knowing exactly where and what strikes she should throw when she threw them to get the maximum Ready. amount of damage off Good. on her opponent. That was a great round by her. And certainly not the worst cut that we've ever seen, but one that bears watching as this fight continues. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters are probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Good defense. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Oh! Huge shot going on right here. Me first. Come on, use your hands. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yeah, she does a great job of attacking the body in multiple ways. Oh! Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world. All right, so an incredible result in this sold-out venue tonight. We have a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She is just spectacular. A great fighter, a great champion, 
a woman that understands what it takes to be the best in the world. Congratulations, champ.